Hi everyone, it's Red with reddragonleo.com. Finally, the bears got to eat today. It's about time this market finally rolled over to the downside. I'm really getting sick of the uh, bullish crap that's been going on by our reptilian friends with Bernanke and uh, Obama and all the gangster gang. Um, and we finally sold off, which is uh, awesome that the market is finally rolling down. Um, looking here at the Dow chart, it looks like we almost tagged the 50-day uh, moving average there at 10,966.69. Didn't quite tag it. Uh, still pointing down on the Dow and uh, still pointing down here on the stochastics. This is all on the daily chart. Going over to the uh, S&P, we will see that we have not quite tagged the 116535 area, which would be the 50 moving average, which I do expect us to tag that. While tomorrow could be a pause day, at least, um, at least in the morning, after a big day like this, down, you usually have a positive day. Uh, maybe not a lot. But it usually, odds are that it closes um, slightly positive. So it's possible that the um, data that comes out tomorrow morning um, could be negative and cause us to go down here and tag this 1165 uh, moving average. Just speculation here, but that would also coincide with the the fake print that we got of uh, 11671 on the spy. So I'm going to guess they're about the same level. As you can see, we are getting, you know, uh, down here uh, quite a bit into the um, negative numbers here. So that that is a concern that um, you know it might kind of try to roll back up and roll down and. You got to look at though at this point though um, the MACD here is well up here, way way up in the extended territory here in positive 15. So it's got a long ways to go before it gets down here to you know negative 10. So in that time period, this could go up and down quite a bit. Um, so just keep that in mind. So I expect this to go down and get itself buried and kind of chop around down here in this 20 level as over the coming days this buries itself down here below the zero mark and that's assuming that we do get the sell-off that this continues down so if this whole move down is going to be a wave one then I would expect the the major bounce to bounce there at the uh, uh, one 11671 fake print area, which also is the 1165 um, moving average on the 50 50 day moving average. So that would just kind of make sense to me to, to, to go ahead and flush it out. Uh, and whether or not that happens tomorrow, or we have a uh, pause day tomorrow, then one more day down and then hit it. Uh, I'm not sure. You know, we could have a day like this and then another final day down and then hit it. But Probably with the data out tomorrow morning, and I believe that that is, let me see, what is it that is out tomorrow morning? Uh, CPI, core CPI, housing starts. Uh, these are some pretty important numbers. And um, so if they come out bad, then we could certainly have another gap down. Even though we're up about three or four points right now in after hours, that really isn't much much at all so I wouldn't sweat that um, we are in bear territory right now there's no question about it finally the bears get you know to rejoice a little bit so um, after a big move down hope hopefully some of you got short in this area and, and uh, made some money hopefully uh, it's not over certainly after we hit this print I think we'll bounce for a while and, and then I think we're going to go down on another wave three. Now the alternative is that this um, turns and recycles back up and goes up to our our uh, upside fake print of 118.16. Uh, 
which it very well could. I mean, it literally, if this wanted to roll up, it could roll up, go right back up here into positive territory. This might go down a little bit and then roll back up and then slowly roll back down. This could take us, who knows, I mean, this could take us all the way into uh, Christmas rally and into the first of the year. That's possible, okay, so let's not discount that. We do expect at least the fake print of 116.71 to be hit. Um, whether or not we'll get the other downside print of uh, 106, I don't know. And that would be, um, let's see here, boom, 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 boom. Is it this one? Nope, nope, nope. Let's see here. All these prints, I tell you, they just, um, they're going to be hit at some time. There's no question about it in my mind. I just don't know if they're going to push it off or not until, here it is, that 106. This is going to be hit at some point. I don't know if it's going to be now or not. You know, it's it's just hard to say. We just have to take it one day at a time and, and see what's going on. But certainly I do expect the 116.71 print to be hit. And to show you that print, um, Kirsten was lucky enough to get that print and to email it to me. And so here is that print. And it was taken before the market opened, as you can see, um, I don't know, about 8, 8, 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning. And um, so right now we're up here, around 118 something. So if we bounce a little bit, great. And then we should pop on down here and hit this print. And at that point, that might complete the wave one down. Um, and then we'd have a, a multi-day wave two, maybe up next week. Just again, speculating. I'm not an Elliott wave person, but I'm just speculating. Now, here's something interesting. The spy today closed at 118.16. That just happens to be our fake print here. The 118.16. Just a coincidence. Of course, this was for the Diamond Trust. Um, you know, this was not for the spy. But I just thought I'd throw that out there. It's just kind of um, strange that it was uh, 118.16 on this one and also 118.16 um, on. Uh, where's it at? Let's see here. If I can find it, I'll just minimize that. There. Okay. So, anyway, it's just kind of odd. I just throw that out there. But uh, um, let's see. What else do we want to go over? Okay, short-term charts. Let's go over the short-term charts. Uh, short-term charts on the 60. You can see the 60 is certainly down there in oversold territory, but it's not completely oversold yet. It's getting close. As you can see, we went up here a high of around 7.5 area when we peaked on the upside and then we're down there at that negative 7.5 area on the stochastics and Mike D's there so and it's not hooking back up yet um, on the full stochastics it's uh it's down here in the below 20 in bear territory but it's again it's kind of chopping sideways a little bit so it's not hooking back up yet so with this powerful of a move down you can't expect this to be to just roll straight back up here and go into positive territory. It's not. It's not likely to do that. Uh, this far deep down, it's gonna. It's. It's gonna go up, back down, up, back down, and may take two or three or four uh, attempts. Uh, I doubt that it's just gonna shoot straight up. It's just not likely that that happens. Similar to what happened right here. It kind of went up, sold back off, and went up, then sold back off, went up, finally made it up. And that was the whole time it was going down. So I, I kind of expect a, a, a similar thing here with this as well. Um, looking here at uh, the larger time frame here. This is the larger time frame. It still has quite a ways to go. Look up here at this on the larger time frame, which is the 60, 90, and 12. It's up here at 6, positive 6. Well, well what's to say it can't go down to, I don't know, negative six I guess it could but maybe it only goes down to at least negative one or negative two 
Well, that, it's still got a long ways to go. It can still go down here and before it recycles back up. So and that's on a longer time frame than these here. These here are, if you look over here, they are 12, 26, and 9 on this particular one. And this one here is 65, 90, and 12. Different time frames. This longer time frame gives you an idea to tell you that this isn't a short-term move. That it's, uh, it's going to last a little while. Um, and that's important to, to see. So, and also this move here, this sideways consolidation is a bear flag. Big time. Uh, it may, you know, go up a little bit here and, you know, before it finally completes itself and then falls. I don't know. It may open up this gap right down on the, uh, on the you know, uh, housing numbers and stuff. It's hard to say. But um, it's looking like it wants to to um, um, try to run up a little bit here from looking at it, at least on the 60. But to me, it's it could just as easily open and, and gap right down, just flat out gap down. The 30 might be the other thing that's saving. As you can see, the 30 is pushing up into positive territory. I don't expect it to get very much. It's, it shouldn't put in no big tower like this. It should just kind of go up and maybe roll right back down. And that would kind of fulfill the, bill, the bear flag. As you can see down here, it's down at negative uh, 7.5, just like this one here was up at positive 7.5. So that tells me that it's getting close to bottom in here on um, the 30 minute as well. So that would kind of indicate one more, you know, move down, which would fulfill the, um, the fake print as well. If we hit that fake print, uh, one more move down. So, um, you know, this is probably a wave three right here just by you know the the way it acted and this is probably a, some type of wave four i would i would just guess but again i'm not a an expert at that but uh, that's what it looks like to me so you know maybe uh, this whole move is going to be a wave three inside of it maybe this was a wave one a wave two and um man i guess i can't quite get that right it'd be a wave one two three four five nine I don't know a lot of a lot of chopping there. I'm not an LA wave person, so it's again, it's I'm just guessing at these waves. But from the strength of it, it certainly looks like some type of wave three inside of this larger move down. But after this larger move down is completed, I do expect some kind of retracement back up. And how far it goes, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if we're going to keep right on going and go up here to you know off the screen here to um, um, let's see keep on going up here to our 11,800 fake print uh, or not or if we're just going to keep on going down just looking at the uh, weekly um, weekly could easily go down here and tag this support and then at that point well maybe it could go on up I, I don't know uh, you know looking at it here it's looking pretty bearish it's rolling over and it's certainly looking to roll over here question is does it kind of roll down here then roll back up and then finally roll down putting in a negative divergence at the same time allowing it to get into uh, January or February and finally hit this uh, upside fake print uh, on the Dow um, or does it roll down first and hit the downside fake prints first it's hard to say so we're just going to play this day by day 15 is uh, certainly not overbought yet. Uh, it's trying to work its way back up. You can see it's way down here in negative 5 territory. It would have to get up here to positive 5 to get overbought. So it is it is moving up. So it's, uh, you know, as the 30 pushes up and the 60 trying to push up, this thing's going to push up until it finally rolls over. When it rolls over, it'll take the 30 with it, most likely, and the 60, and it'll push down even more. And that's probably will fulfill our, bull, our bear flag. So... You know, it could possibly run back up here and back test this line. Uh, it's possible with this channel, channel line tomorrow if we get that lucky. And of course, five really isn't telling us anything. I mean, it's just, you know, it's kind of going, it's obviously oversold here. So, um, so kind of for tomorrow, I'm just kind of expecting, you know, prop, maybe a move, move up here. Maybe it uh, chops around here, moves up here, and stops by the end of the day. Maybe that's about it. Just a pause each day tomorrow. It's kind of what I'm looking for. Uh, I don't, you know, of course, again, if the numbers are really bad, we could we could initially pop down to fulfill our bull flag and then chop back sideways the entire day um, and then end up slightly positive. And that's it. So hope everyone uh, made a little bit of money today. Uh, good luck tomorrow, gang.